not supposed to have any fats. Um, so I said, what do you feel like for dinner? And Ben says, squash. And I say, well, I feel like potatoes. So we decided we'll make both. So Ben's going to be making us some squash fries, and I'm going to be making potato fries. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the oven and uh, get Ben working on that buttercup squash. This is our, our uh, french fry squash that we try to have whenever we're craving something like fries. <laughs> This is the buttercup squash, and we, we end up cleaning all the seeds out on the inside, and we're gonna replant them this year. Great way to save some money on some seeds. These seeds usually cost like $3.50 a pack, and I've got about, you know, over 100 here for free. Right, so we made it through another 369 liver rescue cleanse and we are excited to share with you guys the amazing results that we saw along the way. Yeah, so we've done this several times. I've done it four times and you know, Ashley had to go beat me and do it <laughs> five and so we've, we've done it several times and it seems like we learn a little something new every time. And yeah. so this time, we started to do a couple things different. We wanted to share what those things were. So you probably saw in the other video that we were doing the liver rescue uh, salads, but we were putting them in the blender and drinking them instead of <laughs> eating them, right? And we had some like fruit, fruit in with it as well. Yep, yep. Uh, which is all good with, with this cleanse. Yeah, and we also kept our dinners really simple. So for the evenings that you select your dinners, we kept it simple and we did the same dinner um, those first three nights where you get to select your meal. That way we're not using a bunch of different ingredients and having to cook something different every single night. Yeah, and then celery, double celery. We've been talking about this for a while, so... We've been doing the double celery for about eight months now and uh, still going strong. And so we continued that through the liver cleanse and we think it helped us, helped push even more toxins yep. out of the body. Definitely. So before we really dive into things, wanted to remind you guys, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. And if you are excited to try the 369 liver cleanse or excited to do it again with our tips and tricks, let us know by commenting below and give this video a like. Let's talk about the days and what we did each day on the liver cleanse. Yes. So days one through three, those were our first three days. Now during these days, within the guidelines, Anthony says reduce your fat consumption by 50%. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, go back, watch days one through three, and then come back to the end and watch this video again. Then there's days four through six. Days four through six, you're gonna reduce your fats completely, and then you're bringing in the liver rescue smoothie in the morning for breakfast. And if you haven't seen our video on days four through six, be sure to check that out. That way you can get the full scoop on what those days consist of. And then you are watching this video, so you've already seen days seven and eight and nine. Mm -hmm. And here we are now on day 10 talking about the results of the cleanse. And if you don't know who Anthony is, be sure to check him out. He is the medical medium where we got all of this wonderful information from regarding the 369 liver cleanse. Ashley and I both noticed some detox symptoms. And it seemed like they were always happening right around the same days. 
it was like day five, day six. Mm -hmm. And these symptoms for me, they were just some of the, my symptoms I was dealing with when I first got sick. So that feeling of vertigo, being on a boat, that would come and go. Um, the, uh, I had super bad mental clarity. So it just felt like I had brain fog all of the time. And um, that was, you know, a symptom. Uh, headaches was a symptom. So, you know, a lot of my symptoms would come back, but they weren't, it wasn't like something that stuck around for, for hours at a time. Yeah. <laughs> it would kind of come and go. Yeah. And I had fatigue, um, bloating and feeling like really emotional, which I think you experienced too. <laughs> oh yeah. I had all those yeah. fatigue for sure. And so the reason why that's happening is so days one through three, you're kind of warming up your liver, like you're warming up for a marathon and the days five, six, seven is when toxins are starting to be released, therefore causing these symptoms that we are feeling. And then days seven, eight, nine, that's when it's really starting to flush out things from your liver. Let us know in the comments below if you noticed any improvements in your health doing the three, six, nine liver cleanse. Or if you have any questions, because you might be completely new to this, we're happy to to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you on the next one. See you then. Mm, 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 mm.